Today I will explain how to measure the voltage of the Zener diode. This is simple circuit. This is 9 volt battery which is this one. This is 1 kilo ohm register which is this one. This is Zener diode. This is anode. This is cathode. I have connected two multimeter but only one is sufficient. I will tell why I am using two. This general diode I have not connected now here. This plus terminal red one like see here long wires are there so I have made a bunch are going here are connected here and common point black one is connected here. Current will flow like this in the circuit. So this multimeter can read the voltage across this Zener diode. Here, because Zener diode is not connected, so these two multimeters are reading the voltage of this battery. This multimeter is reading 8.73 volt. This multimeter is reading 8.47 volt. Both are reading different value. This is because this multimeter is good quality. It is giving more accurate value. This is giving less accurate value. So correct voltage is 8.47, not this. That is what I wanted to show. If multimeter quality is good, you will get correct voltage. Otherwise, little error will come. Now, if you don't have this good quality, you have only this type multimeter, then also no problem. What you can do, you can take a battery, measure the voltage of battery using your multimeter. Then go somewhere and measure the voltage of same battery with good quality multimeter. That is required only once. So you will know how much error your multimeter is giving. Is it giving higher or less? Here it is reading more value. Then afterward, you will not require this multimeter using this itself. You can read and correct the reading. This is Zena diode. You are seeing a black color ring here. This terminal is cathode. That I will connect here. See, I have connected Zena diode. This is ring terminal. Black color spot. I have connected here at top. Now both multimeter are reading the voltage of Zener diode. This multimeter is reading 3.4 volt. This is reading 3.3 volt. So this multimeter is reading more accurate. This is reading little higher value. But if you know that your multimeter reads higher value, you can always find the correct value. So Zener diode voltage or voltage of this Zener diode is 3.3 volt. When you buy from the market, they may write 3.3 volt, but Zener diode will have some tolerance. So value may not come exact, it may have little different value. Now I will connect another Zener diode and see. Now I have connected another Zener diode. So voltage of this Zener diode is 5.74 volt as per this multimeter. As per this multimeter 5.57 volt. Now this multimeter is not okay. This is accurate value. Because I know my multimeter is reading always more value. So even this is not there, I can find the correct value. Now I will connect the Zener diode whose voltage is more than battery voltage. Let us see what happens. Now here I have connected a Zener diode which have voltage across Zener more than battery voltage. In that case this circuit will not work. It is necessary that voltage of this battery should be at least one or two volt more than the Zener diode voltage. Otherwise it will not read. Multimeter will read only battery voltage, not Zener diode voltage. So what I will do, I will add one more battery such that voltage here becomes more. 
then we will can see the reading of voltage across this zener diode now i have connected one more battery in series now these two battery are in series here i have connected one more battery how i will show you like this now this battery is this this new battery is this both are connected in series now total voltage has become 18 volt which is more than zener diode voltage so zener diode voltage reading is coming voltage of the zener diode is 11.6 volt earlier only one battery was there so 9 volt was there this 9 volt was less than 11 volt so reading was not coming proper this multimeter correct reading is 11.6 this multimeter 11.9 but I know that how much error is there in this multimeter. I can always find out the correct value. Now value of this resistance is not that important. It should be 1K. It can be 2K here and there. There is no problem. Today we will close now.